So this is what government does. <laughs> These were here two days ago, and uh, that's got the Marion County uh, symbol on it. I uh, can't imagine how much of our tax dollars went to buy this equipment, and uh, I, it's just sitting there. Who knows? You know, one, one thing I thought about on the previous video, and maybe that's why they have these rock piles, I don't know, but, uh, you know, you saw there was portions of the trail that uh, are being reclaimed. Um, but, uh, you know, they could take some of that rock and pile it into, uh, the, you know, the left-hand turn up here, which is what we did the last time, and, and, reclaim, uh, and reclaim that trail. Uh, they got the equipment. Well, I guess that's those two things. You'd need a front loader to, to, to carry that rock up there. All right, let's keep on going. So for the first time ever, <clears throat> I made a fellow, met a fellow hiker deck there. His name is Todd. I won't give you his last name. And uh, boy, we had a we had a too long conversation. I, I think I'm not going to be able to get this whole thing in today because it's going to get dark on me. And once again, I didn't bring the headlamp. I should have. I just thought I was getting an early enough start that I wouldn't have to worry about it. But we, well, we, you know, it's the first person that I've met that knew about all the hiking in the area. And uh, I was hoping he might get me a new hike. Um, so, uh, but anyway, to, to get on this trail, we've just come down this road um, from the main sign. You know, there's number two. And uh, we're just making a right. Now we've already done this with the dog. Uh, and then this just, this just basically goes down to the tree line. And, uh, and I'm just in shorts today. I didn't bring the bear spray. I got, by the way, he had bear spray. <laughs> First person I've ever seen hiking with bear spray besides me. I thought that was pretty cool, man. I, I'm like, uh, holy moly. So anyway, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. So I've just, all I got is tennis shoes and shorts and I've got the, the walking stick. You know, the other day it looked like them dogs were going to attack me because I've already been attacked by dogs uh, once before. So, uh, you know, if you got something, you got to have something to, to fend them off with, you know. Of course, I could beat him off with the GoPro, you know, maybe. Uh, um, and uh, he, he did say uh, there might be, well, he hadn't seen any bear. He's been hiking around here in, in here quite some time, like I have. And uh, uh, he did say there might be some pigs in here, uh, wild pigs, you know, they, they can get aggressive, you know. But uh, I got my walking stick and I didn't bring the bear spray. I just said, you know, screw it. Because, uh, you know, if you put it in that short pocket, it just bounces around. And I wanted, you know, at least have the walking stick with you. All right, so we'll get some video when I get to the spot where I stopped with the dog. And this is kind of what it's looking like. You know, I, I, I want to try to get the whole loop in, but I'm not sure. I'm a little bit sore from hiking uh, two days ago. Uh, and of course, I got to get home at some point and work on the divorce. It just seems like I never get to it. Yesterday, I was doing laundry and doing the dishes and you know, hell, I got to vacuum out the car and investigate becoming an Uber driver. And, you know, it's, I swear, it's a, it's a bitch being retired. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's wait till we get up there and I'll get, get another video. So I got this on a previous video, but uh, basically I've just come down this grassy road and uh, you can see it was kind of hiking through a, like a marshy type area, but uh, this is what I was saying. So now we're going into a, a nice transition into the trees. And the next clip I'll get is where uh, we'll be in virgin territory. I talked to that uh, Todd guy way too long. It's three o'clock. It's going to get dark on me to do this whole trail, but uh, oh well, so be it. So this structure, whatever it used to be, was as far as I got with the dog the last time I was here. So we're in virgin territory at this point. Now this is an extremely easy hike. It's not even that horsey. Um, so I'm maintaining about three to four miles an hour in my speed hiking. Uh, you know, a lot of times it, these videos are about edumacation as well as hiking, you know. And uh, I, Todd back there, he had these uh, these boots on. And uh, he said he's developed because he does a lot of hiking. He's got bunions now. Now, what that indicates is that he's using a, a narrow shoe. You know, when you go to shoe stores, it's very difficult if you've got a wide foot to, to get, uh, you know, a 4E or a 3E shoe. Uh, they just, uh, they just don't make them. And uh, of course I got a weird foot. I mean, I'm, I'm like a seven, seven and a half or an eight with the 4E. And uh, New Balance is the only way that I know to go. 
and uh, and I had a bunion, and I'm gonna tell you what, that was that was one painful surgery. <laughs> you, you don't, and of course, what was funny was you know when I went back to the doctor, he says uh, he says you he says you're gonna wear them shoes. I said well I, that's all I got. He says well then I guess I'll see you back here in another year. I said what are you talking about? He says he says well the shoes are too narrow. He said you got a wide foot. You need to go throw them shoes away. They're brand new shoes by the way. He says throw them shoes away and get you some some wide shoes. I said, well, I don't even know where you buy wide shoes. At that time, you know, because I was naive and stupid and dumb, uh, as, as we all are when we're young. So anyway, uh, what I was telling him, okay, was, you know, now today I've just got tennis shoes on, because you can see this is, it's just a grassy hike, you know, you're basically just hiking down a grass road. Uh, beautiful though, beautiful. But anyway, so um, I was telling him, I said, look, you can go to Bass Pro or uh, it used to be Cabela's, I think some of the stores are still called Cabela's. They've merged together. And I said, get you the New Balance Hikers. Uh, you've seen my hiking shoes in, in previous videos. Uh, I said, I said, man, I tell you, I have, I've had those shoes, I don't even know how many years ago I bought them hikers. They're like brand new. I mean, and I've hiked hundreds of miles in those shoes, you know. And uh, they're, they're, they're still holding up. Whereas, like, I had a, a boot. I bought some boots. And uh, the sole actually fell off. <laughs> <laughs> fell off of the boots man <laughs> so the hikers I, I don't know if they still make them I, I would assume that they do but that's the shoe that you want for hiking you know unless you you're doing just a grassy road uh, you know that's why I didn't you know I try not to use the hikers except on extreme hikes you know but they are they are very very comfortable I have hiked uh, 14 miles when back in the day when I could do stuff like that backpacking with a 60 pound pack on my back and uh and didn't even develop one blister uh whereas them boots man i tell you they would they would wear blisters all over my feet i had to carry all those blister buster band-aids that you get at cvs pharmacy and all that crap so um just a little education for you if you want you know if you're watching this you're obviously a hiker so you know i'm just trying to to get you get you in the stuff that you need you know we're we're gonna get i don't know i might get crazy here well, actually, the next video I want to make, and I always like to promote my future videos, is we're going to hit that uh, Whip Lacucci uh, bike trail again uh, from from the, I uh, can't remember the name of that, that area that I, I parked in uh, or where I stopped last time. And because uh, I want to get a bike ride in, I've been doing mainly hiking, you know, maybe New Year's Day. I wouldn't mind getting out on the bike trail. And then after that, uh, we may get a little crazy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to outfit myself and, uh, you know, put the, put the hiking pants on, the hiking shoes. Uh, I'm going to try to buy that, uh, that guy, I uh, met a Florida native. He said you can buy this sulfur powder at uh, CVS Pharmacy or, you know, I guess Walgreens. And uh, he says, put that around your ankles to keep the uh, wood ticks and chiggers and all that stuff off. And then, of course, put it around your, your waist. Uh, of course, I'll have the pants uh, blast. Uh, probably uh, go ahead and wear uh, a bug netting top and we'll go back up into the Ocala National Forest and that will be one intense intense video I mean that's dangerous up in there man not only do you have a lot of homeless people that uh, you know a lot of dead bodies up in there um, you've got bear uh, you got it all man I mean I'll, I'll be I'll be packing for sure you know I gotta I probably should look into a concealed weapons license being a veteran here in Florida I hear it's pretty easy to get and uh, so that I can uh, pack legally up into the forest and we'll take a real dangerous hike that'll be interesting you know every hike has got its dangers but that's uh, the Ocala National Forest is a vicious place man no doubt about it and uh, and especially the section that that I got to take off in um, you know I put it on previous video might want to watch that one because that was an intense hike uh, or a couple of intense hikes so uh you know this this striking out to the uh, to the west is a piece of cake you know this and that's i think the with lacucci bike trail is part of the florida trail so we are knocking out more and more and more of the florida trail you know the goal is to get off 1400 miles all right see let's just get a panoramic so you can see what i'm seeing it's just a beautiful beautiful day beautiful hike temperatures it's actually a little bit on the warm side today i can't believe florida this i don't remember it being this warm at this time of the year ever i mean we're coming up right up on january 
So anyway, let's uh this is gonna be a long hike today. I'll uh, I'll get a get another video when I see a transition. Peace out. Now I'm very surprised to come to this intersection what I consider fairly quickly. Uh when I say fairly quickly, I mean I'm a good half hour into the hike. Now on the map, what it showed was you can go this way and get a longer loop around or go this way. And because it is getting a little bit late, I probably should go this way. But because I'm stupid, I'm going to go this way and get the longer loop in. This side, uh, this actually goes all the way down almost to the Withlacoochee River. And I... Uh, it's going to get dark for sure if I go that way rather than going this way. Huh. I don't know. Should I be smart or stupid? Let's be stupid. So this is what being stupid gets you. <laughs> I'm having to slow down because the trail's getting kind of crazy here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll get back to normal and I can keep my pace at about three to four miles an hour. That's why I, I took the long loop because I thought... For sure that I, since I've been able to hike fast, but I just lost, uh, I lost a good 15 minutes getting through that. So that's, uh, so you, and you would want hikers to, to get through there. And all I got is tennis shoes, you know, like I said, don't be stupid like me. But that's what it looks like. You're not, not really much of a transition, you know, like we're not going into pine forest or, you know, whatever. It's just uh, basically more of the same. I may end up turning back and taking that other fork. I don't know if this is wild pigs that have torn this up or uh, they just turned it up by coming back here. But the trail is moving to the left up here, so it looks like I'm starting to loop back. Uh, but you can see this is, you know, you need hiking shoes to get through this, you know. This is not easy. Uh, but uh, the trail's getting pretty, uh, well, not, not, you know, not an easy hike through here for sure. Well, I don't know where I am, but the trail just came to an end, so I guess I will be turning back. I don't know what this dirt road is over here. I might try to find it when I get back to my car, just to see what it is, because, I mean, hell, I'd, that might be a fun hike, you know, but I could climb over the fence and, and hike some of that, but I'm going to go back and just stay on the trail. That's unfortunate because I hiked through some tough stuff to get here. Um, I don't know why. Well, maybe that's the border of the uh, of the preserve here. Okay, well let's uh, let's head on back and we'll take that uh, left hand fork. So now you know don't don't hike straight. It's not a hike worth doing. It's uh, too too the ground's too tore up. Uh, it's a slow hike and uh, you just come to a fence and turn around. It's, you know, nothing fun about that. So if you're going to hike, you know, the the, uh, <clears throat> the preserve here, it is well marked. I mean, you've got the post right here and uh, you can see the trail goes on this way rather than do what I did and hike down to a fence. I've lost a good half an hour. I am definitely going to be in the dark getting out of here. Daggone it. But uh, I came here for a hike today, you know. One of the things I wanted to do is I want to enjoy New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Now, I'll be by myself, but my plan is I'm going to just binge watch uh, The Blacklist and uh, a couple of other shows on Netflix and uh, Amazon. I've already binge watched The Wheel of Time on Amazon. I tell you, that was a, that was a lot of fun. They did a good job with that. If you want to watch, if you get Amazon Prime... That was a good show. I thoroughly, of course, I read the book. You know, I I, I, uh, I was a big fan of Robert Jordan back when I used to read books and had time to do that sort of thing uh, when I was younger. And uh, boy, I tell you, he's a he is a great writer. But uh, you can see it's a you know if you make the left hand turn like I should have, this is a quite beautiful hike. It really is. You know, this is a treasure that we have here in Florida that most people don't even know about. So. I, man, I tell you, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be really, <laughs> I'm gonna be beat up. That's why I said I'm gonna take two days off. You know, I, I don't plan on doing a doggone thing tomorrow or the next day. Uh, maybe I'll get on the computer and uh, 
work on the divorce a little bit more. Um, but I, I'm going to be sore for sure. All right, peace out. So I thought I'd just get another clip because uh, we do have a watery area over here to look at. And uh, it's kind of gravelly here. Um, I just want to give you a status here. Um, probably an hour, well, I know I'm an hour and a half into the hike. And like I said, I lost a half an hour by taking a detour, uh, which I shouldn't have done. Um, well, there's something right there that's alive. Who knows? And uh, But I've been able to maintain about three, three to four miles an hour hiking speed. So I'm definitely still moving away uh, from the car. So I'm, I'm just on the, the bottom half of the, uh, of the loop here. So, uh, you know, you're looking at, uh, well, and, like I said, I'm an hour and a half into the hike. So um, I, I think you're probably looking at maybe four hours for this. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll get out before it gets dark. We'll see. So th this is a very nice touch. I'm a good hour and uh, 45 minutes into the hike, still moving away from the car. But, uh, you know, this would be a great place to just take a break. Uh, you know, eat a, eat a power bar. Probably should have had one in my pocket. I got one in the car when I get back. And, uh, and that's a, it's, in, it's in decent shape. Uh, so that's always nice when along these trails, they drop a picnic table every now and then so that you can uh, just hole up and uh, drink some water, get a snack, and then just keep on going. I'm getting a little concerned because I'm still moving away from the car at this point. And uh, there's really... <laughs> Well, I, I, I got to be at least at the halfway point, so I don't see any reason to turn back at this point. But uh, if, I, you know, I guess I, I keep expecting the trail to make the turn, going uh, east, away from the sun, and instead I'm just uh, continuing. Uh, well, let's see. I guess this would be south. I'm still continuing south at this point, so uh, I'm getting. Uh, maybe I've bitten off more than I can chew here. We'll see. Okay, I met two young men back there uh, out hiking the trail. Um, I don't know. I don't know because they said just follow these markers on the trees because uh, you can get lost. Uh, you know, my idea was just to, as soon as the, the uh, trail starts heading east, uh, take the trail and go that way. But uh, they said that was actually a dead end, a service road of some sort. And I. Uh, you know, of course, they're going around the loop the opposite way that I'm going, of course. And uh, they said they've just been making lefts all the way. Well, I, I don't see, I don't, I guess this, this might be the service road they're talking about. And obviously that's not the trail. Probably be a fun hike at some point. So I'm, I'm going to keep going. See, there's nothing marking that. That's what I'm saying. And that's why it was good to talk to them. And maybe, maybe that's what they did is they, they went down that or, but actually they said it's so I got a good two and a half hours they said to get this loop in you can see where the sun is I don't know don't know if I'm gonna make it or get lost maybe be hiking out at the uh, you know in the middle of the night <laughs> you know, this, is, this is this is gonna be a dangerous hike for sure I mean not just because of the the length plus the uh, the, the lack of uh, knowing you know, if you're on the trail, I mean, it's not... One of the problems uh, with the, uh, the Hapata area here is uh, things are not well marked, you know. It'd be nice if they would put, you know, little mileage markers up, you know. You want you one mile, two miles, three miles, you know. Uh, hell, even on the, on the map, show that, you know, how many miles it is to go around this loop, you know. I, I have more markers. I mean, you know, you, you, on the Florida Trail... You know, you always have the orange markers on the trees. Now, you do have them little triangles every now and then on this trail, but, uh, you know, this, and obviously it's on a road. I mean, so I'm on some sort of trail here, but I'm continuing south, and that's got me concerned. I'm, I'm a good uh, two hours into the hike at this point, and uh, they were saying I got another two and a half hours to go. Of course, I'm hiking a bit faster than they were because I'm trying to maintain about three to four miles an hour now that's uh that's one thing that i do like about this hike is uh you know one of the things that uh you know my doctor says that i have to do is get my heart rate up and a lot of hikes 
you know, because of the terrain or, or uh, you know, just uh, the weeds and stuff, you can't keep a pace like that going. And uh, so, you know, I know I'm making good time on this trail, you know. And, uh, and plus my heart, you know, it's uh, it's up, man. I'm, 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 I'm hauling butt. I want to try to get this in. So you can see it's, uh, it's just more of the same, but it's a beautiful, beautiful hike. If you want to come back and spend a day, just don't uh, talk to Todd for half an hour or take a side trail that you shouldn't have taken and uh, lose a bunch of time. See, there's another marker on the tree up here. So that's good. Let's just keep going. This might be the, this might be the, um, the service road that they told me not to take. They said, well, of course we had that one back there, but uh, I think, the, I think on the tree, yeah, it's just, it's an arrow saying keep straight. So I'm just going to keep on going this way rather than take the left right here. And uh, eventually the trail has to turn east at some point. Uh, man, I tell you, look at that. I guess it almost used to be a creek. So you see all this gravel. So maybe there's gravel piles. That's what they do is they come back here. So the, the arrow, that's what the kids were saying. They see the arrows pointing this way. So this, this is probably not the trail. And there's nothing marked on it. Well, you do have the blue on the trees. I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, I'm going to keep going this way, even though I'm going away from the car. Let's just keep going. 